Thank you for joining us live here in the KEXP studios. I'm Cheryl Waters, and you've got it tuned to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us streaming worldwide at KEXP.org, also on our free mobile apps. I'm here in the studio. I feel like it's Groundhog Day. Corey Hansen's here with his band Wand. Welcome back. It's good to be back. It's so great to be back with you. And Every day. Such, Every day. <laughs> such a big Wand fan, so I'm glad you're back. With some music, I think you're going to start us off with a new song. Oh, yeah, it's new. All right, it's Wand live on KEXP. Take it away.
up the stones that you bury X marks the spot
You're listening to WAND live on KEXP. This song's called the uh, Rio Grande. You're listening to WAND live on KEXP. I'm so in my happy place right now. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Cheryl. Me too. Oh, I can tell you really do love playing music. And good thing because no rest for the wicked. Back-to-back -back uh -uh. tours with your solo project. You were just here with Corey Hansen Band and now WAND. It must be invigorating to just be playing music all the time. I feel alive. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I love those dance moves too. It just feels like 
it's something you don't even know you're doing. It just bubbles up from your soul. It makes me think you took modern dance or maybe even medieval dance. Oh, my mom was a dance teacher, high school dance teacher. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. So did you all dance around the house when you were growing up? Always. Yeah. <laughs> Always dancing. I don't know whether to believe you or not, but I, I love the image of that. Uh, speaking of tours, <laughs> you have so many great bands. I yeah. think I'm lying. <laughs> so uh, no, she really is. She, yeah. she was a, she's retired now. Okay. You are kind of a jokester, so it's hard to tell when you're telling the truth. I might have to look to Robbie and Evan, <laughs> Evan <laughs> for confirmation. Every word is true. Every word. He's yeah. just dancing all the time. I've been over there. <laughs> They're dancing nonstop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. St. Vitus it. dance, you know, it's like a, it's a problem, yeah. It's never, Medical problem. never a problem to dance. I was having the Monday Blahs this morning, and I just started playing music that made me dance, and I immediately felt better. Oh, Monday's my favorite day of the week. Yeah? I've decided, yeah. And? Because? Um, because it, it, I would love it, you know? I love Mondays. <laughs> All right. I don't know why. You might just want to write a song about that. I will. I actually will, yeah. All right. We'll have you back. You can play that. You have so many friends that are in bands, and you can go on tour with so many fun people. I saw a while back that you toured with Stereo Lab, which is so fun for actually the Laughing Matter, maybe, on that tour, the so couple of yep. songs you played from that. And I just saw that you were on tour last year with Melt Banana, which, like, melted my mind. I mean... They're very well known for their experimental noise rock. Such a fun band. What was that like? Oh, it was so great and uh, very chill. They're both uh, such sweet people. Um, we got along great. Uh, we were on tour with this band Def Club, too. So the bill was like, you know, grindcore, wand, melt banana. We were sandwiched in the middle. And uh, I, thought it was a, I thought it was an interesting experiment. Um, in mixing crowds, and I thought it, it worked out pretty great for all the bands involved. A successful experiment, and everybody rocking out on stage, and then a sweet little tea parties backstage. <laughs> <laughs> dance parties. Oh, yeah. Coffee parties, dance parties. In October, you released a double live album, and I mean, that is what you're known for as a band, just slaying live. Was there something special about their shows that you wanted to capture on record? Yeah, yeah, I think um, uh, I think that we have developed a live thing. It, it, it's it's a problem with a lot of uh, bands that that are uh, a live attraction. Like I like to think that we are a live attraction. Um, the studio records don't really capture you know the the feeling of playing in front of an audience at all because they're not um, made in front of an audience mostly. So uh, making a live record felt like a, a great um, th uh, companion to, to the studio stuff. They kind of are equal in my mind. You know, we uh, spend so much time playing. It's like that's the way we interact with the music. So it's cool to represent that for the fans too and give them an opportunity to kind of hear it the way we hear it all the time. I mean, for, for every band, live music takes on a, live of its own, a life of its own, but you've really taken these songs in some incredible directions. I mean, some of them are stretched out many times their normal length. Is that something that you practice in studio, or is that just coming out live right on well, stage? White Cat, especially, like, we would play that for sometimes 40 minutes, you know? Sure, at yeah. At a live show, so it's like, you know, we like stretching them out. You can't really rehearse that because it's exhausting. But the, the um, because on that Laughing Matter tour uh, and on the, the Perfume Plum tours, I mean, we played hundreds and hundreds of shows and we were playing those songs over and over again. And through that repetition of, uh, we started to build these Im improvised uh, musical parts and then those expanded, you know, very, uh, t to be very, like a significant part of the set. Well, it's so great to have that on record now, that live experience with Wand, which is just one of my favorite things to go out and see. And I'm so glad you're still playing old songs. Ganglion Reef, which almost a decade old, was my entry point to Wand and a love affair that's still going 10 years <laughs> later. It must be fun to sprinkle those in the show and turn some new people onto those old songs and then also oldies who still love to hear them. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I think that we're uh, uh, in an interesting place as a band because we aren't burdened by any like uh, specific like era of uh, music. Maybe we were at one point, um, but a lot of those uh, people have l left, and a lot of new people have come in with the with the new music. Uh, it, it, like specifically like the he earlier heavier stuff um, and now we're, we just keep changing and expanding and, and I think the people that are here know to uh, expect the unexpected from us Ab yeah, that's, we just that's, make whatever we want <laughs> well that must be so liberating and that's what's so fun is that there's always a new surprise on every wand album and i loved hearing that a song that was new to me anyway today that you started off the set with i can't wait to hear what comes next oh yeah me too <laughs> well thank you so much for coming in what we see you in three or four weeks again yeah, oh yeah, I know I'll be here every day, <laughs> okay. every Monday, my favorite day of the week. Dancing your way through <laughs> a wonderful live set. Thank you so much to Wand for coming in today and a big thank you to all of our viewers and listeners for making sessions like this possible. You can find out more about us at kexp.org. We're listener powered. Feel free to make a gift anytime in support of great new music and subscribe to our YouTube channel and discover your next favorite band. Thank you so much once again to Wand Live. Thank you. Thanks, Cheryl. Here on KEXP Seattle. Discover great music at kexp.org.